Um, sorry, my friend is with me. It's my wife. Sorry. Um, so our next speech. Uh, again, uh, we are honoured and blessed uh, to have the uh, acting president of the Republic of Mauritius. Uh, again, it's an honour to have you, uh, acting president, uh, to bless the platform and hope we can see you more again in our program. So please join me in putting a big round of applause for uh, the acting president. Um, Mr. Bakri!
work with partners. To do what? To ensure that children and young people can enjoy good health. Health is the greatest wealth. Now what kind of wealth? Is it only physical? Physical wealth? No disease? But it should also be mental health. It should also be spiritual health. Motivated by values, by human values. This is what makes us human. We are animals, biologically speaking. But what do we have different from the animals we have in our environment? It's the power of the mind. It's the power to think. It's the power to differentiate, to analyze, to come to good decisions. Sort the good from the bad and then take the decision. Use the scientific method of observation, comparison, classification, analysis, and then on the basis of what you have found out. In the light of your findings, you take a decision. We are, we are only the only you, the, the only uh, living thing on earth who can do that. So let us use it at one is young. But what do we see? How many people, young people, are destroying their lives by adopting destructive ways? destructive habits of alcohol addiction, of drug addiction. This is one of our, my major concern. It's one of the major concerns of the Prime Minister, of the whole nation, because our young people are being taken innocently to be distributors of this deadly substance, which is synthetic drugs. So there too, Mr. President of Yuba, there is, uh, you have to have it on your agenda. So, there are many things that you can do. We, we know, apart from these social problems, we have climatic problems. Climate change is with us. Scientists have been warning everyone 50 years back, 30 years back, political leaders were not listening. But now, when we are seeing what the climate is doing to the, to the earth, to the planet, politicians have realized, yeah, yes, the scientists have been right all the time. And now it is top of their agenda. Climate change. So, but what should we do? Should we ask ourselves what they are doing? That they are not doing their work? No. Professor Nikia said it, and he quoted John F. Kennedy. Ask what you can do. What we can do as an individual. Little actions added together can make a big difference. Save energy, save water, stop using plastics which are non-degradable. And Rodriguez gave the example and Mauritius followed and we banned non-degradable plastic bags. These are the kind of actions. But what do we do at the individual level? What is the drop that we are bringing in the ocean? <coughs> Our drop makes a difference because if it is billions of drops, it makes the ocean. So, I think, I'm sure that these are the kinds of teachings that you are learning and you will be practicing. Now, transformation. A beautiful word. Transformation means not just like another quote from Professor Sergei just now, and he quoted some from some author. He said, "If your action is 
inspire others to dream more, to learn more, to do more, to become more. This is aspiration. That's one that's also important, if not more important. Ask yourself what you are becoming. You are what you are today. But ask yourself, what do you want to become? Wordsworth has said, the child is father of the man. The man that you will become, the adult that you will become later in 5, 10, 20 years depends, is produced by the child you are today, by the young man you are today, you produce the adult. So have a vision of yourself in 20 years, in 30 years. What kind of person do you want to be? Respected, attractive. You want to become responsible, attractive person that, that people want the company of. And this is what I'm sure you're working on this. So let me again congratulate you, congratulate you because what you are doing will make of you an attractive person, a more responsible person, a fulfilled person. That's the transformation. But transformation through action. You'll be proud of yourself. You'll have confidence in yourself. 
And when you have confidence in yourself, when you believe in yourself, you will advance in life faster and farther. So this is my message to you, to congratulate you, to say how pleased I am to be with you and you can rest assured that you will have my support and uh, do good things, help others and in helping others you help yourselves. Sit on, do not the robots one. Another great piece of literature is the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi. Where there is hatred, let me bring love. Where there is conflict, let me bring peace. In my own way, however little. So there's so much that we can inspire ourselves from. Let me congratulate, therefore, Yuva, for for its very existence and for the purpose it is it is here. And today the theme is expanding leadership and entrepreneurship opportunities for Mauritius's progress. That's the national perspective that you have. Great. So the big picture, you have the big picture for the progress of Mauritius through leadership, personal leadership, collegial leadership, group leadership, and entrepreneurship. This too is part of your program. <coughs> government doesn't have, government has limited number of jobs. The future is in the private sector, in entrepreneurship. So that's good that you've taken this also on board in your formation, in your um, seminar. All right, I will end, end here, and um, I'm very happy and pleased to declare this uh, workshop on expanding leadership and entrepreneurship opportunities for Mauritius's progress.